So there seems to be troubles ahead, especially when it comes to the innocence. Hmm. Wow. So I definitely feel like you can't seem to shake something loose. I feel you, there's tears here, there's manipulation, there's a lot of energy here, especially when it's concerning the innocent. There could be children involved, that is not for everyone, please take it how it resonates, but I feel you have to take a step back from something. I feel you have to take a step back to gain a sense of control, possibly even your sanity. Because something became overwhelming. Something you feel you can't fix on your own. I feel the ones that you are dealing with are in some type of heart fog or they can't see past the fog because they're too shallow. I feel you have experienced someone's true colors. I feel like you have seen someone's true colors through a situation or some type of conflicts where you didn't see or believe that someone could be this way. Someone's toying with your emotions, pretending like nothing happened. I feel like you couldn't see it before, but you feel like something can no longer be salvaged or saved. I feel like you're struggling to make this work. You're struggling to make something happen or you try to compromise when it comes to a friend, a partner, friendship. You could even be blood related. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone you would have done anything for. I feel you would have done anything for this energy, but I feel it only created more situations, more bad karma. Because someone doesn't like to hear the truth. Someone hates hearing the truth. And now things are falling apart because someone's not listening or someone doesn't care. But I also feel the collapse of a situation. You didn't see it coming. These are energies who are saying that you're, you're falling apart or you're crazy. When in fact, you're 10 steps ahead. I feel you're 10 steps ahead protecting yourself. I feel like you're protecting yourself because... Something is up, and you feel it. This is something you're not wanting to really be a part of. You've done the best that you could in this situation, but I feel now you are taking a step back. I sense you could still be battling through some situations related or unrelated to a heartbreak or a loss, wondering why there's still tears or pain, when your intentions is truly to let go and find a sense of peace. Because I feel you're starting to feel the situations that are surrounding you. There needs to be an end. Mm. I feel like you're feeling you need a break. You could be intentionally letting go or taking a step back. Even though you would want nothing more than to just receive what you've been given. Well, what you've been giving to others. Well, um, I feel like you've been trying to overcome something, get over something, move forward from something. But someone's going to try to come back. Even though you've taken a step back, someone is still trying to move forward, trying to get your attention, but you've been keeping a lot of things private. Someone feels like you're up to no good or you're keeping secrets, you're holding back and hiding things, but I feel you're doing that intentionally to save self, keep self safe. That's what I'm hearing. Someone's hoping for a back and forth with you. Someone wants to go back and forth about what's been done or what's been said, even though they already know a truth has been spoken. But someone is not wanting to hear the truth. Someone's not wanting to recognize it. And this is why things are always falling apart. No one's listening. So I feel for many of you, you've decided to keep some things private. I feel like many of you already know someone's going to come back. They always do. But I feel things are different because you are different. I feel like you could have been under pressure when it comes to something. Head over heels energy here, the rebound in the clouds. <coughs> 
So for many of you, you have to take a step back from this situation and people are calling you stubborn. Someone's calling you stubborn because you're not going along to get along. Everyone's rolling their eyes about it. And you're still trying to make it work. However, I feel you're trying to make something work in a different direction. You're not doing the same things that you used to. Uh, but I feel there are many energies here who are very low vibrational and toxic. These energies are coming out as low vibrational or toxic because they know that you are 10 steps ahead. Someone is not wanting you to get through something, get over something, and they're very calculating about it. Someone has a lot of strategy when trying to get what they want. You're over it. So is the family. I feel like you have to be smarter when dealing with this situation. Because it's time to show up for yourself. Since you have done so much for others. You're not wanting to be someone's puppet because you're not easily fooled. Someone's know, knowing that you're not easily fooled by a situation. And you're starting to feel like you can't trust those around you. I don't know who this is, but someone is feeling like they can't trust their friends. Even though you can't trust these energies or people who pretend to be there for you, you only see the good in them, or you have. But it should go both ways, and it hasn't. I feel like these energies are doing more than what they say they are. So you got to be careful with them. Because there are hard lessons at hand here. I feel like there are hard lessons that are about to be learned. I feel like many of you need closure. And I also believe, you know, this will never be perfect. This will never get right. This will never have some type of resolution because someone is not putting in the effort. Someone is just being bullheaded about something and you're standing up for yourself. But I also feel you standing up for yourself will be some type of sigh of relief. As I said before, you're under pressure, but I also feel many of you do well under pressure as it seems your purpose is to be revealed. Hmm. I feel the pressure is to reveal the true diamond within you. It, I do somewhat feel a lot of energies surrounding, surrounding you are intimidated. Hmm. I feel like these energies are intimidated because they expect you to be tired by now, well overtired by now, because these energies also see you as pressure. These energies see that you as pressure and they feel like you're starting to do something different. You have a different plan and it doesn't include them. These energies are starting to feel like you'll never give up or you'll never give in. These energies want you to be afraid. Be afraid of losing them when I don't feel that's the case. Hmm, not anymore. I feel like this experience is, has so much to teach you. Someone's definitely always tripping. So what I'm getting here is, is that th these are energies who want you to give up. They want you to give in. They don't want you to succeed in some type of way. These are energies who pretend to be something when clearly, clearly they are not. Yet, I need you to also know these connections and experiences have purpose. These connections and experience, these trials, they have purpose and meaning as your circumstances are not to punish you or break you, but allow you to rebuild yourself, rebuild your environment even stronger. Let's get another energy here from a different day. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective energies? soul contract has collapsed because someone was being fake and phony. Someone's not being real with you. Someone's casually making you wake, but I feel something is about to happen in divine timing. These are reckless behaviors of someone trying to escape their own reality. Someone knows what they have done to you. And they have casually 
made you wait. This is a waiting game. As I said before, if someone is really waiting for you to get tired, tired of fighting for self, tired of standing up for self, but I feel no one knows you better than you know yourself. This is why a soul contract has failed, collapsed, there was a downfall, because someone was being fake and phony. This could be multiple energies, and for some of you, you have cut a lot of people off. This is not just one or two energies here. It's a lot of energies here that you have rather, you would rather let go, and you're okay with it. I feel from time to time, it does cross your mind. It does bring a, a slight bit of pain, but I feel you have grown. You have also gained a lot from this. As I said before, this is, all of this, all your trials, it has purpose. It has meaning. It was never meant to break you, but build you. And it's up to you to use these tools. You know, there will be an ending. Someone's being reckless, trying to escape in a, a reality of bringing you closure, but they're going to have to tap into it. Hmm. There's a closure when it comes to broken promises, someone neglecting you, or the fact that you feel like you were losing yourself in this train wreck. Because someone was being greedy and selfish and keeping secrets. Now I feel you could be finding yourself. Hmm. I feel you could be finding yourself and it's pushing someone to a breaking point because they can no longer manipulate you. I feel it was hard to do that from the jump because you were always true to self. No more manipulation from karmic ties, third parties who are mindless in direction and miserable. These are energies who cannot focus because they're focused on the wrong things. These are two-faced energies who need a change of heart before there are some real regrets. I feel there are regrets connected to chaos and confusion that bring something to a very complex ending, but I also feel you have had to use your head over heart when dealing with this situation and you had to clip the cord and detach. There's a lot of heartbreak, mental exhaustion, and a lot of doubt when it comes to the naked truth, but you're not willing to be a lost soul for it. Someone has selfish desires, they're hiding in shame, but they know they stabbed you in the back. Someone knows that they clearly hurt you. They just don't want to admit their deception or their trickery. There's rumors, there's gossip circulating regarding this situation. Someone is shameful trying to hide from those around them, but I feel like they're reminiscing as well. And this energy of thinking of the past has left them emotionally voided or closed off. This energy is coming out as if they're like talking to a brick wall. They're distorted, overthinking situations because they're empty inside and have a fear of love. I have a fear of connecting really with others, so they tap into dark influences in their heart and heart. I feel their heart and heart keeps them stuck and causing lies and betrayal for those around them. I feel you have to tap into self-love to get through this because these energies, they just cannot be tamed. As I said before, your pressure, your pressure because you'd never give up and you won't give in. This could be changes coming your way when it comes to um, um, a lot of things. I feel you releasing something has left room for more things to come your way. Let's get a little bit more energy here from a different deck. Um, a little bit more confirmation. Holy Spirit, what is the messages here? What is new coming for the collective energies? Four cards here. Oh, wow. Something that was supposed to leave you broken has put you in a space of evolving. Game over. Someone's lack of faith has definitely been a stepping stone for you. This is an awakening from someone's betrayal. Someone played some games and they'd only played themselves. I feel this has been a long journey for you. A long journey of you trying to compromise or do the right thing. Now it seems the right thing is to enlighten yourself, protect your energy. <laughs> wow. 
But I feel these are energies who are plotting because they're unstable. They don't have the same thing. Someone feels like you have more even if you don't. These are unsighted fears. These are betrayals from energy who has played too many games. But I feel the frequency is different because there's a shift here. But you must know there is a plan. What this plan is, I really don't know. But someone is wanting to get closer. Someone is wanting more access the way they used to. Hmm. But I also feel like something is going to work out well for you. Even though this betrayal hurt, the journey was hard. I feel it built something. It gave you more than you expected. I feel like you're going to receive more from this situation than expected. Even though it was feeling like it was breaking you. It was only building you stronger. I feel like there could be an overflow of emotions here. There are mixed signals. You're no longer a fool when it comes to the mysterious one. This is past life energy here where someone needs to understand it's a losing battle going against you. I feel there's truth here. Hmm. Divine truth, no potential, and a new perspective. So, someone needs to give a truth. Without it, there's no potential in a new perspective. This situation will only leave you exhausted. Hmm. Whoever this is will only hurt you because they're still unhealed. I feel you could be grieving old wounds. There's a rival sitting in the unknown. So there's someone who has a lot of love and a lot of hate. And this is someone who is sitting in the unknown position. And they want to resurrect something with you. Something they know is off, dead. But I feel this will keep you stuck in a loop. Stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. Battle of the wits. I feel you cutting the cord energetically. You could be going into solitude as well because of the gossip or what's being said about the children or the innocent. Please take it how it resonates with your message. But you're over it. You're over it. That's what I'm hearing. You're over it if someone is still playing the fool. Wow. As I said before, there's a lot coming your way. Even if this this is a situation where you're not expecting anything, there's something coming your way. Let's get some energy on that, Holy Spirit. Let's get some energy on what's coming your way. What's coming your way? Hmm. It's coming, someone's listening to you or... It's, it's, it's concerning something you're listening to. <laughs> it's something that you're listening to that brings beauty and grace. These are unfounded fears. This is doubt. I feel like you could be haunted by your past, feeling foolish by the past. This is unfounded fears. But I feel it's only holding you back. You must listen to the beauty and the grace. So what that's telling me is that even though you've been burned or hurt by the past, it was only to build you. L look at the brighter side of things. That's what I'm seeing here. Serendipity. Someone's watching you from the past. Someone's haunted by the fact that you are not a fool. Wow. Someone's haunted by the fact that they couldn't get over you. Someone knows that you're moving forward in a situation. This could be in love, career, foundation. Yet, whatever the case, is not by chance. Mm. And the assignment isn't for the weak. I feel what, whatever's coming your way, you were called to do it. You were destined for the love and the abundance coming your way. As something unexpected causes a new start, causes a restart. Wow. I feel like it's starting some type of new beginning and you're letting go. I feel like you're letting go of anything that doesn't add value or positive direction in your life, which essentially made room for what's coming your way. Hmm. Yeah, something is brewing. Something is definitely brewing when it comes to this situation. There could be a power couple in the in the future here, but I definitely feel it's attached to your dreams. Something that you truly desire. This is the wishing well. Can't make it up, you guys. This is something you fought for. Unspoken energy here. Wow. 
love is fire. You're very passionate energy here. Very passionate energy. But I, as I said before, something is growing when it comes to choices. Something that you least expected. You're about to take a leap of faith when it comes to building your empire. Building your foundation. I feel like there are some unseen factors here that you should be aware of. I feel these unseen factors is knowing that you're not to save something. Your, your, you, your journey was not to save them. They have to save themselves. There will be a gesture when it comes to a twin flame energy. Someone you thought was solid in your life, but they proved themselves wrong. There will be a gesture when it comes to a family tree. Hmm. So this could be an offer, a blood offer, blood related offer or someone you have grown close to over time. But I feel it will only bring regret. Things will fall apart because someone is still guarded. Someone will leave a, a very dark mark on this situation where it will leave you feeling you have been dealt a bad hand. But I feel something unexpected is going to take place because you are taking aim at something. Something new, something bright, something that is going to uproot everything. This uprooting is leaving something familiar behind, creating an ending, possibly even closure for self. Wow. This is saying they entered your life to test you, teach, teach you, and bring you out of this dark space. Now, they're part of your story as well. So I feel like this ending is the end to toxic situations or a dark side that will bring justice in your, into your life. I feel this is through the boundaries you have set because you are in the most highest favor. I feel you had to release something to gain this healing energy, to gain this favor, because now it's time. For many of you, you are divinely guided, while many of you feel others see you in a very distorted image. Hmm. Someone thinks that you have a stone heart. When I feel you're just protecting yourself the best way that you know how. Especially after dealing with all of this. I feel you have learned hard lessons of things not being what they appear to be and you're looking for answers direction or a true connection however i sense your trials are getting harder because you're getting closer i feel like you're getting closer to your victory and that's why things seem so bleak or seem like it would never change but trust me it is this is a final energy here i was doing final energy here Final energy here for the collective energies. I feel you had to intuitively set some boundaries here. <laughs> wow, this is very interesting. Before in the reading, I did say that you thrive under pressure. And that's what I see you doing. Thriving. Thriving when people feel like you should be tired or giving up. I feel you are using your intuition, setting boundaries, and causing something to be frozen when it comes to someone who is behind the mask. I feel you are looking for something. You're choosing love. You're choosing love over hate. And Spirit is saying you are safe. I'm not sure who that is for, but I feel you are thriving using your intuition. And even if you feel like things are not the way it should be, they are. I sense you're being guided in every way. And I also feel like you being between worlds in some type of way makes you hard to find. Especially when it comes to your enemy. However, if you're in hermit mode or hermit energy, your blessings are everywhere you're supposed to be. However, you're still struggling here. I feel like you're still struggling with trust or letting your guard down out of fear. Out of fear of another disaster. Yet I sense you must remember your guides, your ancestors, they're fighting your battles. 
they're fighting your battles and you you just gotta trust the process because you're gonna win in the end no matter how it looks now <laughs> wounded healer wounded healer a warrior of spirit I feel you're making necessary sacrifices here. You're mastering your fears. And the spirit says, keep exploring. You are in the early stages of a miracle. Wow. Have faith in this season, you guys. Because this is your destiny. And as I said before in this reading, this wasn't just by chance. This is your destiny. If you ever wondered what you were destined to do, this this is, you're on your path. And I can't speak of everyone's potential because everyone's direction is so different. But you must know we all have purpose. There's no compromise needed here. The only compromise I see is healthy changes. Healthy changes that you have already made. However, as I said before, there is a sense of a struggle here for a doubtful heart. Some of you doubt this will even happen, but there's no rush. Because something has been disguised here. It says the solution has been disguised as a problem. But whatever it is, is it's going to happen in the distant future here. This is a sudden shift. A sudden shift that uh, unties something, a karmic knot, a third party, something that was wasteful. I feel this really made a difference. This is building you in so many ways that you were not even prepared for. But Spirit is saying nothing is missing in you. Nothing. Everything you need is already there. Embrace the dark with a new light. I feel there is strength, there is power in your prayer. Use it. Use it abundantly. It is your gift. It is your gift to cause a shift. You will live differently when you do this authentically. This is going to tap into this untapped potential that you have and it will only bring good news. I feel this will bring good news to pressing matters. Because as I said before, you are pressure. But this pressure is only to create and manifest the diamond within. These are unseen challenges, unseen situations that will bring a vibration of blessings your way. You must know you are almost there. Don't give up. Don't give in. It's time to let yourself receive. I know you guys wonder what's taking so long or what's the, the hold up, but I feel these blessings are bigger than you thought they would be. And it's going to make for a beautiful recovery. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.